free vestibule. The theme from Hawaii Five-O. There was no other TV show theme quite like it, and now this marvelous piece of music is commemorated in an all-new breakfast treat, announcing the theme to Hawaii Five-O breakfast cereal, a special blend of crunchy cinnamon, crushed almonds, dried dates, and chocolate marshmallows that is the theme to Hawaii Five-O. Mmm, it's so delicious and nutritious, it's like having the actual theme to Hawaii Five-O in a box. These crushed almonds are amazing. From now on, this is the only cereal of a TV show theme from the 60s on my family's breakfast table. So experience the great taste of a legendary theme from a legendary TV show every morning. Buy the theme from Hawaii Five-O breakfast cereal today. Yes? Repair, man. Oh, great. Come on in. The TV's been on the fritz all day. Look at this. It just won't work. Okay. Wow, thanks a lot. Is that it? Well, there's the stereo, but that's been broken for months. It just won't turn on. I don't think you can fix that. That's been broken. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks. That'll be 50 bucks. 50 bucks? 50 bucks is way too much. I'm not paying 50 bucks. No, I am. Ah. Okay, here's 20, here's 40, and 10, that's 50. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bell salutes grandfathers. Grandfathers smile a lot. And grandfathers know how to make things. They're always nice and they always have time to spend with you. And they have a gleam in their eye. Sort of a twinkle or a strange glowing green light. And their elbows bend the other way. And they have that small antenna growing out of the back of their neck. And they grow these pods behind the garage. What are you doing? Grandpa! And they wear sweaters. And they smoke a pipe. And they are completely normal, and they are good, too. Grandfathers, what Bell Long Distance is for. Announcing an all-new concept in soup from Campbell's, Psychic Soup. It comes in three delicious flavors, but there are no labels on the tins. The only way you can tell what flavor you're buying is by making psychic contact with the contents of the tin. It's easy to do, even for those of you who have limited psychic abilities. Just take a tin off the shelf and concentrate. Concentrate on the tin. You and the tin are one. All things in the universe are one. Your mind and the contents of the tin are merging. Merge. 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 Come together. Yes. Yes. Yes, I can feel it. I can feel it. I am one with the soup. One with the soup. Ah! I am the soul of crushed tomatoes. Pain! Pain! I have been ripped from my vine. Ah! I have been cut open! That was tomato. See how easy it is? Psychic Soup. New from Campbell's. Pick up a can today. by going to a bar. It started the whole world crying. The dog says, hey, the dog, hey. I, didn't I don't see why you are reacting this way. And the joke was on me. Well, at least I know the joke's not on me. Oh, no. No. I started to cry. My aunt died yesterday, I just remembered. started the whole world Hey! 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 Wait a minute! Was this a big setup or something? Nah, uh, probably not. Oh, the beautiful skies! I think I'll run my hands over my.
my eyes. I can't see now. Oh, well, better get up. Those sharp things that I said on the floor there. Till I finally die. I don't feel so. Ah! We started the whole world living. Ooh, I guess they were all dead before, huh? Oh, if I only see. I couldn't see nothing. I had my hands over my eyes. Yeah. That the joke was on me. I guess the joke was on me. Oh no. Oh, no. That the joke was on me. And welcome to People, People. Today, we start with a look at a man who has become an integral part of Wellington City, North Dakota. His name is Articani Photocalc, and he is the purveyor of an old and almost forgotten art, the One Man Band. Here's Bill Miller with the story. If you're ever in Wellington City, North Dakota, you're bound to come across Articani Photocalc. He'll be the one standing on the street corner, a cigarette dangling from his mouth, a hat made of old beer cans resting on his bald head, and 50 pounds of musical instruments strapped to various parts of his body. Articani started his one-man band when he was 12 years old. He still has fond memories of those days. Well, in those days, people used to appreciate the one-man band. It, it used to mean something to be a one-man band. Uh, I can't remember what it used to mean, but it used to mean something. And the, the music now, then it was so beautiful back then. Now, it's ugly music. They have too many people in the bands. It's no good, it's no good. Except for Devo. I like the Devo. They're good. And, and people used to smile. Nobody smiles now, nobody. If you smile, they think you are crazy. I smile every day. And am I crazy? Am I crazy? Things may have changed a lot since those days, but Articani still keeps playing. When he's not out in the street, you'll probably find him at the Wellington City Children's Hospital, where he entertains the kids with his joyful sounds. Are we not men? We are people. People, people, people. Sing, children, sing. Are we not Articani refuses to be paid for his performances. I refuse to be paid for my performances. He lives in a small apartment all alone. The place is cluttered with memorabilia. His prized possession is what he claims is the largest collection of spittoons in the world. I have four spittoons. Look, look at this one. This is one from uh, 19, uh, I don't know. It's from some time. And, uh, do you remember the, the Louis Armstrong? He was the big man with the black skin. He, he was famous for that. And uh, he spit in this spittoon. But for Articani, hobbies are just things he does to pass the time. His real place in the world, he feels, is the street corner, where his wonderful music will continue to be heard for years to come. You know, the life, life is horrible. It's the worst, it sucks. The only thing you can hope in life is to die young. You see, for me, it's too late. I'm, I'm an old man. But, but the children, the children, they have the hope of dying young. Yes, yes, it's the children. They have the hope. Take the last train of The one I call Davy, the smallest one in the group, seems to have gradually accepted my presence in the corner of the studio behind the piano. And although the group as a whole is still somewhat wary of me, I feel I am close to a breakthrough in my study of their diet, their social order, their use of the tambourine... Don't miss Jean Goodall and the Monkees, an award-winning documentary, Sunday on CBS. Bell salutes grandfathers. Grandfathers are uh, nice, and they smile at you, and uh, they, they, they tell you stories, and they're great, and... Uh, they're not human beings! They were sent by Zyblor! Watch out, everybody! Run! Run! They were sent by Zyblor! Ah! 
and they wear sweaters, and they smoke a pipe, and they are completely normal, and they are good, too. Grandfathers, what Bell Long Distance is for. Want to add fun to your next party? Why not get some entertainment? Well, you're in luck. The one and only Paul Banuki is available for your private parties. He's a comedian. Hey, everybody, listen to this one. There's a gorilla, okay? Hey, listen, listen, I'm telling a joke here. A gorilla goes into a bar, okay? And he goes... Yes, Paul Banuki is a blast at any social gathering. He's a singer. Hey, remember this one? Oh, me days, oh, And be sure to ask Paul for his special strip tease. Hey, everybody, look, I'm naked. Look, hey, I'm naked. Hey, you, look here, I'm naked. So hey. why just have a party when you can have a Banuki party? Uh, excuse me, uh, who's paying me? Who's paying me for this? Are you the hostess? Uh, I gotta go now. Do you know who the hostess is? I gotta go. Has anybody seen my clothes, by the way? It's Koto di Borba with Cluzzy Pum Pum. It's Koto di Borba, hooray, hooray, hooray. Some people will be late for dinner because of this show. Hi, and welcome to Koto di Borba. I'm Phil Tilly. Today, Lazanovas, Jack. Lazanovas are more expensive these days than they used to be, Phil. On the whole, though, they're still a going concern. Fine, but what does that mean to you and me, Marie? Absolutely, Phil, absolutely. Marie Larsky, everybody. <laughs> Fine. Now let's go live to Willie, who's up north staying at his uncle's cabin. Willie? Hiya, Phil. Hi, Willie. How's it going up there? Well, it's kind of hard to see from up here, Phil, but I've got three of them and... Uh, uh Uh-oh, here comes Dee Dee. Okie dokie, Willie. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, okay? Okay. Well, we're just about out of time on Koto di Taborba for today, Jack. Hi, Phil. Marie? Okay. All right, fine. I'm Philip Tilly. This has been Koto di Taborba. Good night. It's Koto di Taborba. Hello, hello, hello. What are those little shiny things that are stuck in your hair? Fuzzy Pum Pum's electronic toupee was provided by Electronic Toupee House in downtown Los Angeles. It's Koto di Taborba. Do, do, de, do, de, do. There are no letters which go with the zero on a phone. Introducing a brand new board game. Honesty from Barker Brothers. How much do you know about the people in your life? Play honesty and find out. Okay, honey, this question is for you. Okay. Would you sell your wedding ring for ten times its original value? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, honey, you know I would never do that. Aw, that's so (laughs) sweet. (laughs) Honesty, the game where the only rule is to tell the truth. Okay, would you cheat on your wife? If it saved a stranger's life. Mm, a stranger, eh? Well, that's a tough one. I will say yes. You would! You would cheat on uh, me! Well, all right, no. No, I wouldn't, okay? Oh, you would let someone die then? Well, I... no. Honesty I is the die. fun way to learn about each other. Okay, Bob, if you were forced to do one or the other, would you kill a baby or kill five teenagers? Well, I wouldn't want to have to kill anybody. Well, you're forced to. You have to make a decision. Yeah, answer the question, Bob. Well, um... I- I, I guess I'd kill the baby. I knew it! I knew it! You would, eh? I knew it! He's a baby killer! Well, I have to choose He's something. He's a baby killer! You would kill a baby. Would you kill our baby? I huh? have to kill somebody Tell me that. in this scenario. Would you scenario? kill our baby? It's Look, a game Mr. guaranteed to fill your evening with revealing insights and stimulating discussions. All right, whose turn is it? I don't know. Why don't we let the dog torturer over here take Why a try, Why did you hmm? call me that? Because not... that's what you said you no, would do. No, I'm not a dog yes. torturer. I think I... we should leave, Jim. No, no, no. We're going to stay and finish the game. You shut up and I'll ask the questions, all right? All right, fine. All right. If your wife was pregnant with Adolf Hitler's child... Honesty. Would you a, a game of choices B. from Parker Brothers. Good evening, and welcome to Gourmet Cooking with Philippa and Danina. Philippa! Danina! How are you? Today? Yes! Oh, not too good. Mm. So what are we cooking? Today? Yes, beef! Ah, so first we need 
an automobile so we can drive out to the country because there are cows in the country and beef comes from cows righty woo here's how to recognize a cow it will go moo and it won't be wearing any clothes oh will it be wearing shoes no pants no a shirt maybe no it might be wearing a hat but that's not very likely mm. once you have found the cow convince it to come inside the automobile but don't let it drive no cows are terrible drivers so you drive it home and take it into your kitchen then you get that frying pan we told you to get last week the big one and hit it over the head Whee! till it stops going moo Then cut it up into bite-sized morsels. Put it in the microwave for ooh, about a half an hour. And serve it on a bed of elastic bands. Yes, we have this gourmet dish already prepared for the show. And I am good to have some. Now? Yes. Ooh. Does it taste good? Not at all. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Is it a tasty treat? Not really. A culinary delight, maybe? No, I wouldn't call it that either. A fascinating and flavorful feast? No, that's an interesting phrase, but it's not exactly appropriate for what I'm eating here. That was gourmet cooking with Philippa and Danina. Danina's bib provided by Bibs in Things in exchange for this announcement. Hey, pass the mashed potatoes, please. Sure. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, don't do that! <laughs> don't throw the mashed potatoes, it's gross! Oh, come on! I'm trying to eat! It's fun! No, it's not fun, it's gross! All right, all right. Jeez. Can I have the peas, please? The peas? I don't know. I'll put them in my mouth, I swear. Okay, here you go. Thank you, thank you very much. Jeez, look, I'm putting them in my mouth. Okay. Oh, that's better. Hey! Hey! Don't do that. That's Bump really gross. I'm trying to eat and you're spitting peas at me. <laughs> yeah. Come on, it's fun. Can I be excused, Dad? All right, Billy. Jeez. Uh, hey, you got peas on your face. Uh, you're disgusting, you know Mr. that? Mr. Pea Man's face. You're disgusting. You Purple Records, the people who brought you the hits of the 50s and 60s and the hits of the 70s and 80s present the most unique collection of hits yet. Yes, it's the hits of the future. Featuring all kinds of great hits from the 22nd century, you get the Frigatrons. Cyclor is our leader. Cyclor is all-knowing. Cyclor is our leader. Who won't be able to forget the Calvo 7? Cyclor is our leader. Cyclor is all-knowing. Cyclor is our leader. And, of course, the Irish Rovers. And I said thank you. You Zyblor for keeping us alive through artificial means. The hits of the future, available only from Buerpo Records. Get yours tomorrow. Few in Sector 17. The sirens were... And now, Radio Free Vestibule presents Hervé Villachez, Marlon Brando, and Bob Dylan, meeting on the street. Marlon, hello, how are you? I'm good, Harvey, how are you? I'm fine, look, it's Bob Dylan. Hi, Bob. Oh, no, no, no. How's your work going, Bob? Yeah. He wants to know how your work is going. What did you say, Marlon? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Huh? Who? I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Know. What do you think? What? Me. Who? I, I, I don't, don't, I don't understand you. What? what? People don't speak huh? clear at what? all. I don't understand. I'm gonna go. Hey! What are you doing in my dryer? I'm the softy man. Hi, softy man. I haven't seen you around here before. That's because I'm brand new. I'm the fabric softener that works in the dryer. Oh, yeah? Well, what can you do about these socks? I'll make them spring fresh. And what about this shirt? Static free. And spring fresh? No, sorry. I can only handle one of the two. You know, spring fresh or static free. Oh, well, I'd like them spring fresh, please. Okay, fine. And this other pair of socks, I'd like static free. Mm -hmm. And this underwear, I'd like spring whoa, fresh. Whoa, 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 and this hold on, hold on, hold on. The underwear, what? Spring fresh. Spring fresh. And the other pair of socks, static free. Static free. Okay, can you sign here, please? Uh-huh. Okay, now close up that door. I've got some work to do. Okay. Thank you, softy man. You're welcome. New from Procter & Gamble. It's soft for the dryer. <laughs> Bell salutes Zyblor. Zyblor is our leader. Zyblor is all-knowing. Zyblor is our leader. Zyblor is all-knowing. Zyblor is our leader. Yo. 
You're always fighting. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. See? Well, you're always lighting a match. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. See? You're always laughing at things that aren't even funny. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <coughs> See? Yeah, I guess you're right. We're always singing this song. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Hmm. Oh, well, perhaps. Yeah, I guess. You're always talking like Marlon Brando when you hurt your foot. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Pass me that hammer. Here you go. Oh, I hurt my foot. See? Well, you're always phoning your friend Blanche to ask her if she's got any plastic containers to store leftover vegetarian stew on Sundays. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What day is it? It's Sunday. Hi, Blanche. Oh, is Blanche there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Mm -hmm. Hi, Blanche. Do you have any empty containers that I can store vegetarian stew in? No, eh? Okay, bye. See? Yeah, I guess you got a point. You're always going to the kitchen, getting a can of beans, opening it with a chainsaw, putting the contents into a blender, drinking it, and then not liking it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Excuse me for a minute. Good. See? We're always singing this song. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Well, I guess we are. Wow, this is a huge room. This is enormous. It's not really that big. I've got the echo machine on. Oh, really? Yeah, look. See, it's tiny. Oh, yeah, right. That was Radio Free Vestibule. Radio Free Vestibule was written and performed by Paul Paré, Terence Bowman, and Bernard Denichet. Sound effects by Lawrence Stevenson. Recorded by Greg De